Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Serrano. How, how are you doing today? Hopefully you're chilling right now. Um, but if you're new to the crew, make sure you subscribe, get notified for more videos just like this. But if you're already a part of the crew, then, you know, so... Today, what we're going to be talking about is the Motorola Moto E7 um, from from seven months ago that I purchased it. I've had it for about 214 days now, but this is my seven month review after some time now of having the device. It has some really cool things that it has on it. Comes in blue, comes in this orange, like, you know, orange color right here, which kind of looks like a brown color sometimes. Um, but really solid device. I want to talk about this device in a little bit more detail. It's a 48 megapixel around back um, textured power button on the side of here, which is really pleasing when I'm unlocking it or anything like that. Rear finger, rear um, mounted, not rear mounted, rear fingerprint sensor, and um, of course facial recognition, which is kind of snappy as well. So they 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 have a lot of features on Motorola phones, and um, you know. This one is no exception. We, we have a ton of features on here. I left the tips and tricks video right at the top so you guys can watch that right after this one is finished if you haven't already. But by the way, if you're new to the crew, do me a huge favor. Um, hit both the like and the subscribe button. It would be a huge help to the channel. I definitely appreciate your support for doing that. So let's jump into some more features right here. We do have media controls which lets you change the tracks with the volume rockers. They also have a third button on the same side. So they have the textured power button, the volume rockers, and then the Google Assistant button right above it. Um, but this device has l been loaded with features that I just want to talk about. Obviously the chop to flashlight, um, attentive display when you're looking at display, it won't turn off, things like that. 29, 20 by nine aspect ratio. So this phone fits really good in your hand. Um, the way it feels in your hand is really, really good. Uh, has a nice, has a nice weight. I could barely wrap my fingers around this thing. You know what I'm saying? I, I do have pretty decently sized hands. Not the ones that can palm a basketball easy, but if I sat there for a while, I might be able to grip it and hold it for a, a half of a second. But you can see right here, it does have some width to it. You know what I'm trying to say? So. As far as the viewing angles on here, we are getting an LCD display panel, IPS LCD display panel. So it's it's decent. It's not the worst one that I've ever seen in the world, but it doesn't dim. It doesn't. It's not as bad as other phones. It, it doesn't um, dim too much. Uh, you can see right here at that angle. That one is bright. Kind of dims out here. So it's 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 got some good viewing angles, is what I'm trying to say. But. 720 by um, you know 1600 HD plus display on here. We also do have 270 pixels per inch, so it's got a really nice display on here. As far as software updates, they come into this device. We're on Android 10 right now, so we're getting software updates. Uh, I just got two today in one day, so we had the March, and then we ha we had the Ma the the May one, the March one, and then we had the May one. Right after that, I thought I was gonna get the update to the 11. I got gas, but it never came. But it should be, um, I wouldn't be surprised if they put it out on this device. As a matter of fact, let me just check right now because it could happen at any moment. You know what I'm saying? It says checking for updates. It's all set May 1st, Android 10. So really up to date. Um, but the price of this device is probably the most important thing to note. It's under $140. So it's really, um, affordable you can get this device really really uh cheap well not cheap but inexpensively so you guys remember the moto e5 plus this thing was a fingerprint um haven you can see right here but they do have a a better they, they did it different on the e7 so this is the e5 this is the e7 plus e5 plus e7 plus matte finish glossy fingerprint finish. So they kind of improved. Um, I like how they improved the materials from that one to this one. Um, it's It's got that 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 48 megapixel around back, which is capable of doing night vision. So basically what that means is that when you're outside and um, you're outside and you're taking photos, what's gonna happen is it's gonna look pretty much like you were taking it at dawn instead of nighttime. So 
the camera software on here, I, I, I gotta commend it, does a really good job um, when it comes to those every single time. But it did, on some of the portraits, it would kind of chop off an ear, like blur an ear out or maybe a headphone out. If you have earrings, it's gonna blur that out. So even flagships do that. So just keep that in mind. But you can take pictures at night with this thing. I took a, a ton of pictures at nighttime with this thing and they were they were surprisingly visible it it it, it, it increased um, the light in the sky it increased the four light and it, it just made it the software on here is incredible when it comes to that night mode so um i'm gonna leave some photos up just so you can see what i'm talking about but um for 130 dollars this night mode technology is pretty retarded and then so what you're also getting is um you know a 5000 milliamp hour battery on this phone so it's gonna last you you know a few days of, of time you know I, I was able to get like two days of time on this thing um you know what i'm saying and i was able to get through a full day without any issues like that so depending on your you know phone usage and how much you use your phone on a regular basis or something like that would depend on the total amount of um you know what i'm saying um, uh, battery life that you would get but um by the way um make sure if you already have um subscribed that you click the like button and show your support i would definitely appreciate that but like i said before we have a, a um a pretty decent display and at the top of it we get that 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 um what do they call that the water drop notch so you know the chin is a little bit bigger than the forehead it's not completely symmetrical but you only look you can only see that if you're looking for it it doesn't really pop out like that so i, I don't mind that whatsoever so as far as the audio quality on this device we do get um this really cool thing called audio effects where you can when you hit that you're gonna get deep bass uh, a lot of customization options but you're gonna get like deep bass um, heavy treble things like that so it'll let you tailor the sound with bluetooth headphones or 3.5 millimeter headphone jack extreme bass bass punch balance brilliant treble things like that so you can customize the audio one here i really do like that as well so you know like i said build quality is really good battery is really good the display is is, is decent it's um you know decent viewing angles but Let's talk about the switch gears a little bit and talk about the uh, performance on this guy. So we are rocking an 11 nanometer processing chip coupled with four gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of internal storage. And of course the Snapdragon um, 460 on here with the Adreno 610. So like I said, it's gonna be a decent um, you know, performer all, all around. If you wanna um, play PUBG Mobile, Call of Duty, you can do those things. Um, light multitasking things like that but this device does have screencast as well no nfc so you can't do mobile payments with this one but you know it has a lot of cool features like screencast where you can share which what's on your phone screen to your smart tv if you have wi-fi on both at the same time so i definitely think that's pretty cool um bluetooth 5.0 is on this one wi-fi calling um lte uh voiceover calling um, you know what I'm saying? So they, 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 um, they packed it with a lot of cool features, uh, stock Android, Android 11, um, should be coming to this thing. Uh, hopefully it should be coming to this thing. I don't see any reason why it shouldn't have came to this thing or it won't be coming to this thing, but I could see it coming to this thing. So that's another thing that I really do like. Um, and most importantly, where it's getting updates after seven months, which is, I just got two in a row. So. We got that May 1st, there's like dirt on my glasses. I was trying to get that off, but we got that May 1st software update, like I said before, which is gonna um, bring some extra life into it and increase the, um, you know, the added uh, security on there. So it's definitely gonna be um, inside and out. It's gonna be thoroughly protected if against, you know, the, the anything that, any malware or anything like that. So um besides the build quality besides the price the cameras the display the battery the performance this thing is a really good phone now the only downside that i don't like about it is it has a, that micro um micro charging micro usb charging i wish that they put the type c on here um it's like the only phone that i've seen in 2021 with the micro 
um, charging cable, but that's the only nitpick. It also only has a single firing um, speaker on here, which can get covered up when you're gaming. Uh, you can just throw some headphones on or something like that, Bluetooth headphones to, you know what I'm saying, to offset that. But all, are, all around, um, I def these are my thoughts on the um, Moto E7 Plus after seven months. Hopefully you guys did find this helpful in any way possible. Hopefully you did, but hopefully you guys are chilling right now. Hopefully um, you're safe. I'm going to get right back with you. I'm going to see you in the comment section right now. So make sure you um, leave a comment. Also hit the like button right now as well as hitting the bell icon and subscribe and get notified for more videos just like this. But I'm going to get right back with you. I'm also going to show up in, the, in um, another video real soon. So um, that's going to happen real quick. So make sure you're subscribed for that. But these moto um, gestures are sweet where you can get to the flashlight and they don't have the, the chop for camera. They have the double click to camera on here, which is pretty much the same thing. So I just want to let you guys know that. But um, the cameras don't have like that much stabilization, but they do have really good quality to them. So I just want to let you guys know my thoughts on the Moto E7 Plus after seven months. I really like this device, but I'm going to get right back with you. I'm going to show up in the comment section and we'll chat there. I'll show you some love there and we'll chop it up. But uh, I'll see you real quick later, groupie.